Going off to college is quite an expensive investment, and one way to reduce the cost of tuition is by earning scholarships. Solo Kanti sat down with Prosser Education Foundation representatives to find out more on the scholarships they give out. The annual regional swim meet took place this weekend, and both the boys and the girls swim, te swim teams competed. McKinsey Hamilton will have the results of the race and upcoming events in the world of Prosper sports. And we will list off those in Kauai who advanced to the state competition this past weekend. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good morning, Prosper High School. Today is Monday, February 6th. I'm Brandon Bonaparte. And I'm Abby Smith. Here are today's top stories. The 51st annual Super Bowl took place last night where the New England Patriots faced the Atlanta Falcons. Roughly 112 million people tuned in to watch the first Super Bowl ever to go into overtime. The Patriots overcame a 25-point deficit to win their fifth world championship. This past weekend, Prosper Choir was in action in hopes of advancing to the state competition. Here are some of the names of the 26 members who are advancing. We will have more on this as the story develops. The Prosper swim team competed in their regional tournament last week with the end goal of advancing on to state. Following their district title, the girls took home the gold at regionals. The girls will now head to the state tournament being held in two weeks. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Luminaries for Relay for Life are on sale in all lunches with a $10 minimum donation fee. Money can also be collected by Miss Brown or in room 1217. Anyone interested in taking an AP test for a class you are not currently enrolled in can sign up with Miss Benavides in the counseling office. All seniors should stop by the registrar's office and verify that your name is correct for your diploma. You will want to check spelling as well as missing suffixes or punctuation. The Prosper Education Foundation grants various scholarships for Prosper High School students. Solo Kanti sat down with Prosper Education Foundation representatives to find out more on the money being given out to Prosper students. All right, I'm Sola Kanti and I'm here with Marcellus and Jen from the Prosper Education Foundation. So can you guys go ahead and tell the viewers what the Prosper Education Foundation is? Well, first, good morning, Sola. <laughs> good morning. Um, Jen and I, again, as you just stated, we work with the Prosper Education Foundation. So we get the wonderful chance of working with the PISD and assisting with scholarships, which is what we're going to talk about here today. Mm -hmm. um, we also assist the teachers with getting training that they need and as we can assist with trying to help our um, schools, um, any other types of administration buildings look better than what they currently do. So we help raise money for that. That's cool. That's cool. So where, where does all this money come from? from because I mean everybody knows money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> I'll let Jen handle that. It just sprouts out of briefcases. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no it doesn't. We um, spend our free time going around asking big people and little people for lots of money and whatever they can money mm -hmm. and we stuff it all in here. We ask you guys to fill out the um, scholarship application. It's that time of year. It's due at the end of the month. It's available on our website. ProsperEducationFoundation.org and counselors too. And, oh yeah, that's true. The counselors have it also. But we want you guys this year to fill it out, turn it in on time, and we want it to be a little extra step than last year, so that we can look and really see who you guys are, get a sense of what you've been doing all this time. Why do you deserve this money? Because we worked really hard to go out and get it. Like you said, of it's course. not just hanging from a tree. <laughs> And, and then just with the people that are donating money, yes. who have no type of affiliation with kids. In the That's school. true. So a lot of um, our donors, Sola, don't have kids at this school. So when we ask them for money, they're helping kids they don't even know. Now we know a lot of Aww. you guys, and that makes it really personal when we get to give it away. It's an awesome time of year for us, but the people who give it to us are writing checks because we're begging. And they have no other need to do it other than they want to help a kid. And we just think that makes our mission even better. So this year, we really want you guys to show us why you deserve it. Because we got it, but we want to, we want to know who to give it to. And this application is only open to seniors, right? That's right. 
but we're doing this every year. So I mm -hmm. want the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors to remember that this is coming up every, right, right after Christmas, their senior year, and work towards that. You know, everything you do, every, Every community Volunteering. service moment you have, yeah. Extracurricular activities. Even getting employed by cool people. Yes, at <laughs> Mathnasium. Oh. Or at or the cell. cell. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you are doing something, you need to track that, and that's part of your story. And that's what we want on this application. What is your story? Mm -hmm. Everyone's got one. Mm -hmm. So like you said, this money comes from all different kinds of people, whether they know the students or not. So do you guys get a lot of positive feedback from the students that receive these scholarships? That is a very good question, Sola. <laughs> so to answer your question quickly, yes. But in our minds, um, it, we would love to hear a lot more, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I like handwritten thank you notes. Well, and then we've- <laughs> a sweet email. Well, we've mm -hmm. heard a couple of things in the past. Okay, if we just fill out the application, then the money's gonna be given. Okay, when we first started this a few years ago, that might've been true. But as we have grown as a community, which you all live here and you see the growth that we're getting exponentially, wow, it's yeah. gonna be a little bit more challenging to get these dollars out to the people that deserve it to be honest so it's not just to fill it out not an ATM as I know you like to say it's not going to be as easy as what it may have been in the past so mm -hmm. like Jennifer eloquently just stated a few minutes ago uh, you know showcase what you've done over the last four years and your tenure here at P uh, Prosper High School and then at awards night in May <clears throat> you will get a folder with a certificate yes. and inside it says congratulations here's how you get your money and then you mm -hmm. get to send an email to us that says, hey, here's my student ID, my new school. It can be Colin College. We're handling that scholarship now. It's all in one application with the other scholarships to four-year universities that we offer. You'll see <coughs> it all in the application. Mm -hmm. But you send us an email saying, hey, I'm ready. Can you send my check? And sometimes the emails just say, send my check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a little okay. gratitude is nice. Just, yeah, like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Thanks again. Now can you send my check? And then, like, afterwards, I got my check. You guys are the best. Like, mm -hmm. we love that. Oh, yeah. Gr having gratitude is extremely important, especially when, like you guys said, people are getting money from yes. people that don't even know them. So, I mean, I think it's super important to make sure you show your gratitude. You guys have people all over this town right. watching you, proud of you moving here because of you. They hear about you and they say, I want my kid at that school. My kids, mine are only sixth and eighth grade, but I want them mm -hmm. at this school because of you guys. I want them to be like you. So I want you guys to remember, we're all out there for you. We want you to give it back in this application so we can help share this because we are all a team. Mm -hmm. You are worth it. All right, that was sweet. And is there anything you'd like to say to anybody who's looking to apply for this scholarship? Any tips, advice, anything like that? Um, again, I think Jen already mentioned the application is due at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So oh, you still way. have a few weeks to get it completed. Again, showcase what you've done over the last four years. Um, we know a lot of you put in a lot of work, um, sometimes a lot more than a lot of adults do around here. So again, showcase it and put it out there and let's, um, let's review it. Put us to work now. Yeah, turn it in on time. That's a huge thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't want to have to chase you down, and, and we're going to have to start like being really... Well, and the counselors are really good. They know how to get a hold of us if there's any questions they can't handle. But again, we've been working with them the last two, three years, so I highly doubt there will be something that will come across that they can't. But again, we're all here to help you all out. All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, this is this is great, thank you. Thank, thank you, Sol. We definitely appreciate what Prosper Education Foundation does for our students here at Prosper. We'll be right back after this. Senior shirts for the end of the year photo will need to be purchased by Friday. Money will be collected this Thursday and Friday. Cost is $12. St. Andrew Methodist United Woman will host the ninth annual prom call of providing prom dresses to anyone who cannot afford one. Shoppers need to be in line before 8 p.m. on March 28th through 30th and before noon on April 1st. PHS Radio with Edge will meet Thursday, February 9th at 3.50 in room 1050. Brandon, as I've said, the, both Prosper swim teams competed in their regional tournament this weekend. And both boys and girls soccer teams competed in a match against McKinney North. Here to talk about that and much more is Mackenzie Hamilton. Mackenzie? Thank you, Brandon. That's right. The Prosper High School swim team traveled to Mansfield this weekend to compete in the Region 2 5A Championship meet. 
The following are the state-bound swimmers who secured their spot in state this weekend with their performances at regionals. Overall, the women's team placed first in regionals. The women's 200 free relay made up of Hope Justice, Jordan Wett, Victoria Evans, and Melissa Haley placed first. Zachary Walker in the 100 butterfly placing second at regionals. Pope Justice in the 500 free and 200 free placing third and also in the 200 and 400 free relay. Taylor Mallon in the 500 free placing fifth and in the 400 free relay. Tori Evans in the 200 free relay. Jordan Wett in the 200 free relay and the 400 free relay. Melissa Haley in the 200 free relay and Ana Hernandez Flores in the 400 free relay. Overall, the boys team finished fifth and the girls team took home gold with a first place finish. Out of a total of 26 teams, the Prosper team earned first with a total of 316 points. The next highest score was Mansfield Lake Ridge with 299 points. Other highlights from the event include Weston Sitz placing fourth in the diving with an All-American score, Victoria Evans placing third in the 200 IM, and the boys 200 medley relay placing fourth. State will be held in Austin on the 17th and 18th of this month. Both the girls and boys soccer teams had big victories over McKinney North this last Friday. The boys team was coming off a tough, tough loss from Tuesday looking to redeem themselves and doing just that. Prosper Soccer played McKinney North on Friday night at 7.15 p.m. The Eagles scored two goals during the first half from Boney Zarate and Chris Gress respectively. In the second half, the Eagles finished the game with another two goals from Seth Voss and James Foster, making the final score 4-0 Prosper. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Cameron Silva. The girls' soccer team also had a 4-0 victory over the Bulldogs. That's all I have for you today. Next show, we'll preview uh, wrestling and basketball from this last weekend. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Mackenzie. Now here are a few final announcements. Any senior who has attended a Prosper ISD school since kindergarten, please stop by and make sure your name is on the list for graduation. You must have not withdrawn from any amount of time from your kindergarten year. GeForce will be in the GO Center Monday from 9 to 11.30. GeForce can help you apply to college, trade school, or assist you with career searches. They are also avail available for financial aid, scholarship searches, and signing up for the ACT or SAT. If interested, please schedule with Ms. Benavidez in the counseling office. First priority will be meeting on Wednesday morning, February 15th in the PHS Auditorium before school at 745. Join for a great time of music and fellowship and an encouraging word. If you are having an issue submitting your course selections in career cruising, make sure the courses you want to take are correct on your course selection sheet. The counselors will be meeting with each student soon and will submit your courses in career cruising for you. Please remember to turn in your form into social studies teacher by February 8th. And before we go, we will have your Black History Month quiz. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Brandon Bonaparte. And I'm Abby Smith. Live long and prosper. Hank Aaron played for which two Major League Baseball teams? Is it A, the Brewers and Red Sox, B, the Cubs and Red Sox, C, the Brewers and Cubs, or D, the Braves and Brewers? Aaron, as he is still known, played 11 seasons with Milwaukee, even winning a World Series in 1957. In 1966, Aaron began playing for the Atlanta Braves until 1974, the year that he broke Babe Ruth's home run record with his 715th. In 1982, Aaron was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame.